One thing that can be difficult when you're building your bibliography is title capitalization, especially if English isn't your first language or your list of references contains sources in various different languages. Fortunately, there's an easy way to deal with title capitalization in Zotero, and that's what we're going to cover in today's quick tip. You can see that I have a window open in Firefox, and the bottom half of the window is Zotero, and the top half is the Zotero preview pane. The first thing I want to review is how you should capitalize the title of your sources when you first enter them into Zotero. And I'm talking about sources in English. I know I've said something different in previous videos, but what I recommend now is that when you enter a title into Zotero, you make sure that the first letter of the title is capitalized and that everything else appears in lowercase. And remember, if you need to quickly adjust the capitalization in your title, you can always right click on the title, go to transform text, and then select sentence case. The reason I suggest you only capitalize the first letter of the title is because Zotero will take care of the rest. For instance, if we preview the citation for this source, Mestizo Democracy, and I'm going to focus on Chicago formatting in this video, you can see that even though I've entered the title in Zotero using sentence case, when it generates the citation in Chicago format, it's in proper title case for American English. Now there's one exception to the keep everything in lowercase except for the first letter rule. And that's when you're dealing with proper nouns. So for instance, you can see in the source above Burke, the one written by Velkamp, that there are two proper nouns, Argentina and Arab. And when you're dealing with a proper noun, whether that word appears in a title or not, it always needs to be capitalized. And if we look at the citation for this source, you can see that in the case of Chicago format, everything will be properly capitalized according to the rules for American English. But if I go to a format that has slightly different capitalization rules, for example, APA, you can see that the capitalization for the title in this formatting is also correct. That is, only the proper nouns are capitalized, and of course, the first letter of the title, and then the first letter of the subtitle, which comes right after the colon. So that's it for English, but what about other languages? For example, in Spanish. For instance, if I select El Pensamiento Político de Martín Luis Guzmán, you can see that the title is formatted correctly for the capitalization rules in Spanish. That is to say, the first letter is capitalized, proper nouns are capitalized, that is the name Martin Luis Guzman, but then everything else is lowercase. Now that's all well and good, but if I generate this citation in Chicago format, let's see what happens. And you can see that we have a problem here, because even though the source is in Spanish, the capitalization rules that Zotero is following are the rules for American English. That is to say, the title's messed up. So how do we deal with this issue? Well, if you look here in the info pane for this source, and this is actually for any source, there's a field called language. And all I need to do is indicate to Zotero that the language of this source is in Spanish. Now here I've typed in ES for Espanol, but you can also type in SP for Spanish, or you can just write out Spanish. And so now that Zotero knows that this source is in Spanish, let's see what happens to the citation in Chicago format. And you can see that everything is now hunky-dory with a capitalization in this title. Let's do another quick example. You can see that the source right above the one we were just looking at is in French. And again, if I look at it in Chicago format, the capitalization is wrong because the capitalization in French titles is the same as the capitalization in Spanish titles. That is to say, you only capitalize the first letter and then proper nouns. But if I go to language and indicate to Zotero that I want it to be in French, and again, I can type either FR for French or Francais, or I can type out the word French, and then I refresh this source. You can see, again, that everything is perfect for this French language source. So what I recommend is when you add a new source to your library, also include the language of that source. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel so that you can catch the next video, because you do not want to miss the next video. It's going to be amazing. Feel free to leave comments and questions below. If you have ideas for future videos, I'd love to hear them. You can follow me on Twitter at Dr. Nerdis, and then check out my other videos. There's lots of stuff on Zotero, academic writing in general, and then also writing in plain text using Markdown.